This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, I'm going to have a shout out to Rabbi Sayyafil Khan Shushan Purim. And we are already preparing for Pesach. And in order to prepare for Pesach, in order to understand what Purim is all about, one thing we need to try to figure out, and that is we have to try to find out a very important yard site. You know, yard sites are of special meaning in Judaism regarding Tachnon. Now, when it's, when it's a Tzaddik's yard site, it's very dubious to say that you don't say Tachnon, especially the yard site of Moshe Rabbeinu is really a Tainus. When Tzaddikim pass away, it's a Tainus, not to say Tachnon. But certainly, let's say the yard site of Haman. Uh, the yard site of Haman, no question on Haman's yard site, you should not say Tachnon. So that's, that would be very important to figure out. When would Haman's yard site come out on? And therefore on that day, maybe we should be Koivea, not to say Tachnon on the yard site of Haman. So let's try to find out, when is Haman's yard site? Look in number one. In the Megillah it says that, in the Megillah it says that, uh, the Vayikaru Seifrei HaMelech B'Chodesh HaRishon B'Shloi Sha'asar Yoimboi That when did the letters go out? The letters went out what? What Pesach. day? Pesach. 13th day of, 13th day of Nisan, right? Vayikaru Seifrei HaMelech B'Chodesh HaRishon B'Shloi Sha'asar Yoimboi Right? The 13th, fine. So the, the writers, the scribes wrote the letter on the 13th day of Nisan. So what did Kali Yisrael do? Look in Megillah, Parag Dalet, Pasuk Gazayin, Leich, Kenoi, says Kala Yehudim, Hanimsen, B'Shushan, V'tsumu Alai, V'yal Toichlu, V'yal Tishtu, Shloi Shes Yamim, V'lai Lavayoyim, Gam Anivin Aroisai, Otsum Kain, V'b'chein Olay Alach HaShaloi Chados, V'cha Asher Avadati, Avadati. So they fasted for three days, Vayavor Mordechoi, Vayas Kichoyel, Asher Tzivasolo, Vesteh, so Mordechai, Vayavor, he passed. What did he pass? His road test. What did he pass? Says Rashi, Vayavor Mordechai Aldas. He violated. He was over. What did he violate? The Jewish religion. Aldas, he violated Das Yehudas. He violated Judaism. Why? Because he fasted on Pesach. Lehesanois, the Yom Tov Rishon Shal Pesach. He fasted on the first day of Pesach. Oh! So Rabbi said, now we're going to try to make some calculations here to try to figure out when Haman's yard site is. This way we know when not to say Tachnon. Okay? Shehesana, he fasted the Yud Dalad Benisan. Yisrael fasted the 14th. The Tesvav and the 15th. The Tezayin and the sixteenth. Anyway, we wouldn't say time. One second. That's true. Sharei <laughs> Ah, listen carefully. Rashi learns the letters went out on the thirteenth, and the Jewish people fasted the fourteenth, the fifteenth, and the sixteenth. Now, Rabbi Say, that means Mordechai fasted on Pesach. You're now to fast on Pesach. So when it says that Yavar Mordechai, he violated the religion, you have to be Mesameach on Yom Tov, you have to eat. So first of all, let's make a Cheshna. Let's see if we could figure out when Haman's yard site was. If the letters went out on the 13th, and they fasted the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th, on the third day, look in Parakei Pazagah, Vahibah Yom HaShishi Vatobash Esther Malchus, Esther went into the king, and what does she ask from the king on the 16th? Next, come, come, next, day, next day. Come to a party Tomorrow. today. Afternoon. Today. And then they came to the party today, and then what did she ask for? Come to the party tomorrow. And in between the parties, that means in between, according to Rashi, the 16th and the 17th, that night, what, what couldn't Achashverosh do? <laughs> he couldn't sleep. <laughs> right? He couldn't sleep that night. So according to Rashi, what night was it that he couldn't sleep? The night of Yudzayin. And that means the next day he came to the party, Haman made the misstep. He landed on Esther. And he was, he was hung. He was hanged. On the, on the 17th. On the 18th. No, he wasn't hanged the next day. That day. 
Yeah. No, the night of Alel was the night of the 17th, but in, in, so in our calendar, the, the next day is still the 17th. Hang. He was hanged on the 17th. So according to this, the yard side of Haman is the uh, 17th. 17th of Nisan. Taka, we don't say Tachron on the 17th day of Nisan. <laughs> right? So it comes out Mount Mishkud. Well, in the, the middle of Yisrael, so we don't, we don't say Tachron on Yudzayin. That's Shittas Rashi. That, again, the letters went out on the 13th. They fasted the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. The party, the next party was on the 7th. 17th. 17th. He and he was, he was, you know, hung, hanged on the 17th. <laughs> and that explains our minute of not saying Tachnon on the 17th day of Nisan. Uh-huh. But I have one question for you. Why does Rashi say that they violated the religion of not eating on Pesach on Yom Tif? Forget about not eating on Yom Tif. That's a halbat sarah. If you fast on Yom Tif, it's not the end of the world. They didn't eat matzah! That's what Rashi should have said. Vayavar Mordechai, not that they violated the religion of... Right? They're not that they violated the halacha of you have to eat on Yom Tif. It should say they violated the Asei Doi Raisa of Achilles Matzah. Yeah. Uh, wasn't... Uh, 17th, the day that he took her on Mordechai, okay. No, but, okay, so Balai Lahahu, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't sleep, and Haman, and Haman came, and he said, and just then Achishir says, what should I do to someone who the kings want to honor? So Haman says, you know, let him wear the royal clothing and ride around the royal horse. So he said, you, you do that. That morning he rode Mordechai, straight from there he went to the party, Vayafhilu, the Chazal even say he came into the party. Very close. Achishverosh says he stink like, like garbage. Taka, because he, his daughter just dumped the garbage on his head. That's part of the nest. And that that party, he fell on Esther, and he was hot. He was hanged you know, you know on the seventeenth. All on the seventeenth. With the smelly. You know, by the way, the entire Purim story, we think it happened over a long period of time. The whole thing was three days. The letters went out on the thirteenth, and four days later, Haman was dead. No, no, no. The next year, they had no. basically defend themselves. Yeah, the war was... Yeah, the war, the war. Yeah, yeah but the whole Misa of uh, the, the no, Sakh Vaifa... They still have to send out the next letters that, that basically... Okay, that's true. The first that's true, but all the, all the events of the, the, events of the, of the yeah, theme, yeah, yeah. I heard the matters. Why didn't you have time to change? Why didn't have time? By Avhilu. They quickly brought him, the positive. That's simple. Yeah. Then Meshwam didn't let him. Yeah. His wife told him then, go take off, take off past, past the, the, the three years you made for Haman. You're in your bad condition, you didn't take off fast. Had you taken it off, you would never be hung. Okay, very good. That's why, that's why there was no time to change. So, to, before he had, his wife advised him right away, go take off that, 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 that scapula. Tree, yeah. Because you're not I hear, a good move. I hear, I hear, I hear. Had you done it, you would never be hung. I hear. Before. I hear. This is Rabbi, this is Rashi Shita. Rashi on, on the Megillah says that that the letters went out on the 13th and the fast is the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. By the way, Rashi on Shas says the same thing. On te- Rashi on Tezvav Amar Af number four Yom Tov Rishon Shel Pesach. How do I know Mordechai fasted on the first day of Pesach? Shari B'Shloi Shas of Nisan Nechtav Oigaros. The letters were written on the thirteenth. V'Nitin Hadas V'Shushan V'Arba Asar V'Chamisha Asar V'Shisha Asar Hisanu. They fasted on the six fourteenth and the sixteenth. And on this, look at carefully. And Rashi says on the sixteenth Haman was hanged in the evening. It doesn't mean the sixteenth. Because the party wasn't even until the 17th. It means the 16th by the end of the day. No, 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 no. It, it, one second. No, it can be. The night after the 16th. The night after, in other words, it wasn't the 16th. Because it's not even until the next... The eve of the 17th. No, it wasn't the eve of the 17th. The party was the next day. The party, with, uh, the second party was on the 17th. Okay? Now, by the way... Another proof to this is, remember, Haman, when Haman came to parade Mordechai through the streets, when Haman came to parade Mordechai through the streets, Rabbi Isai, what day of the year was it? It was the 16th. What day was Sunday morning, usually, wasn't it? No, it was, no, the, day it was, the, it was the 17th. So? But maybe not. Right, according, right, if I would ask you, according to Shitas Rashi, where the letters went out on the 13th, and they fasted the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th, what day did Mordechai get paraded? The day right before the second party, which was what day of the month? 17th. 17th. 
But how could that be? 16. Because Mordechai, when what, Haman comes to Mordechai, he says, Mordechai, what are you learning? What was Mordechai learning? Hilchais? Kamitsa. Kamitsa for which carbon? The Minchas HaOimer. When is the Minchas HaOimer brought? Pesach, Pesach, second, day. second day of Pesach. So that Gemara seems to be saying that, what day was it? 15. 16th, the second day of Pesach. The second day of Pesach. So this Gemara is a little bit against Shitas Rashi, you see? Look, Rashi says the letters went out on the 13th. They fasted the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. On the 16th, Esther went to Ahasuerus. She said, come to the party today. And at the party, she said, come to the party tomorrow. So the, the day of the second party, which was the day Mordechai was paraded, according to Rashi, was the 17th. The Gemara's Mashma was the 16th. Parties were during the day? Presumably. But after midnight? Kings don't get up until... What went on at the first party? You know, they, they don't what went on? They, 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 they played, they played uh, Beethoven's Third Symphony first. <laughs> And then they brought out the adorbs. And then after that, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's in full mode. Yeah? So that's the Shita of Rashi. The 13th was the letters. The 14th, the 15th, and the 16th was the fast. The second part was the 17th. Haman's yard side is the 17th, right? So you mark down your calendar. If anybody wants to, why are you not saying Tachnon on the 17th day of Nisan? So you say it's because, according to Rashi, it's Haman's yard site. Yeah? Oh! But you should know that the Midrashim argue with Rashi. The Medrash Rabbah, look at number 8, says, Thirteenth, the fourteenth, and the fifteenth. So, according to the Shita, the Madrish, when was Haman's yard site? Sixteenth. And Taka, we don't say Tachan on the sixteenth day of Nisan either. <laughs> so, both according to Rashi and according to the Madrish, both days that of Haman's uh, yard site, we don't say Tachan. It comes out very beautiful. By the way, the Pirkei of Lazar also agrees with that. Look at number nine. Mordechai says, one second, then the third day is going to be Pesach. Yeah, but what happened to the Lila of the Yom? How could you stop the 13th if you didn't have the Lila of the 13th? Um, so it says, Lila of the Yom. Lila of the Yom must mean then, um, the, the middle day only, and not the first and not the last. That's what the the Chassam Soifer Masechta by the Zohar and Daf Lamed Dalit says. You don't have it on the sheet. That Chassam Soifer and Masechta by the Daf Lamed Zayin also the Maral says they were not three complete days. Otherwise, uh, you can't fast seventy two hours. The Gemara says the person will die. So you have to say only the and the Manas Halevi also brings this down, and I believe the Al Shech as well. That the, only the middle day was Lai of Yom, but not the okay. So okay, Rabbi says we have a machlekas here. What were the three days of fasting? Rashi and the Gemara and the Megillah says fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and the Medrash Rabbah and the Perikdir of Lazar say thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So one was Haman's yard site, either the sixteenth or the seventeenth. Okay, when was Balai Lahahu Nada Doshna Samelach? It was the night before Haman was hanged. Either the 16th or 17th. Either the 16th or the 17th, right? It was the night before Haman was hanged. Either the 16th or the 17th. But I don't get it. Everybody knows, and you say this in your Seder, Vayihi b'chatsi halayla, it happened at midnight, that what happened at midnight? Balayla hu nadada shnas hamelach. In fact, if you look, look at number 11. Number eleven, Beibelelia, hahu on that night no dachshin so the malka, Beibelelia, hahu in the fact for kanalu yidoy that night salvation came out to the Jews. Beibelelia yidoy bara sar lavesei davi melech that night Sarah had her thing with Avi melech. Beibelelia is katalu kol bochre the mitzrayim that was the night of makas bechayrois. That fits in according to who? Rashi. Rashi or or the medrash? Nobody. Nobody. 
Nobody. <laughs> Rashi learns Balayla who was the seventeenth, and the Medrash says Balayla who was the sixteenth. This is the fourteenth. And here it says it's the night of the fifteenth. You hear? Very passionate. Let's get the chronology. The chronology is the night before the second party, Achashur couldn't sleep. When was the second party? The day after the three days of Tainus. According to Rashi, the three days of Tainus are 14, 15, 16. So that means the night before the second party was the 17th. And according to the Medrash, the Tainus was what? The Tainus were 13, 14, 15. And the second party was 16. And the night before was 16. So the Achashverosh couldn't fall asleep on the 16th. But both, according to both Shittos, it doesn't fit in. Balai Lahahu is not the 15th. So where does this Targum get it from? That, that Balai Lahu is the 15th. Now Rabbi Yisai, I always thought that Haman's yard site was one, the first day of Pesach. I always thought Haman's yard, and that's and Taka. We don't say Taka on the first day of Pesach either, <laughs> right? So both the fifteenth and the sixteenth and the seventeenth. I always thought Haman's yard site was the fifteenth, and we say in the Vamar Tamzevach Pesach, Roish mi Beis Rasha Machatza Beitz Chamishim Ba Pesach. So it's not a Kasha; could be the sixteenth, could be the seventeenth. But I always thought it meant the first day of Pesach. It's my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh. so I have one simple question for you. You want to say Haman was killed the 16th or 17th and the, and the piyot that says he was hung on Pesach, he was hanged on Pesach, means the second or third day, fine. But the Targum says the night Achashverosh couldn't sleep was the 15th. And according to Rashi, it was the 16th. Excuse me, according to Rashi, it was the 17th. And according to the Perkadir of Lezer and the Medrash Ram, it was the 16th. But it doesn't fit in according to nobody that it was the night of the 15th. You're not bothered by this. I mean, how could you even start preparing for Pesach unless you know the real day of Haman's yard site? I mean, you're going to go today, you're going to go home. The first thing you can do is you have Shachmanis all over the house. You didn't even clean up yet. You have Laffy Taffy stuck to the floor and the wrappers everywhere. But you're not going to even be able to start cleaning up until you're able to establish on your calendar when did Haman, when says yard site? When, really? Comes along with Yonis and Ibishitz. And he has a whopper of a chiddush. You never heard a chiddush like this in your life. Okay, you ready for this? Remember we started off by asking, why do Chazal say Mordechai was over by not eating on Yom? They're better than that. Mordechai was over. He didn't eat matzah. And also, why? Worse than that. He had all the Jews not eat matzah also. Oh, Reb Donald is asking, what do you mean? Mordechai was over. Obviously. All of Klai Yisrael, if they fasted three days, everyone was over. All of Klai Yisrael was over. Why only Mordechai? Yavor, Mordechai, well, he's everybody. Come on. But he caused everybody to be over. It should say, Vayavor, Yiklav, Vayavor, Yehudim. It says Yehudim enough times, I'm telling you, you could say one more time in the Megillah. Vayavor, Yehudim. Says Rabbi Anderson, I You ready for this? We have a rule in the Gemara. Adar hasamach lenisan la'olam chaser. Adar next to Nisan is always 29 days. What do you mean it's always 29 days? We're talking about, the, even though the Beis HaMikdash wasn't standing, they were Mekadosh Levana back then, Api Bezdin, Api Re'ia. So how, how was it that Adar is always 29 days? Wouldn't it depend when the Edom saw the new moon? The Nehid of Hida writes in a tshuva, and the Menchaz Chinuch says the same thing, that Api Hashkoch HaPratis, it just always came out that Adar the Edom always saw it on the 30th day and made Nisan on the 30th day. They just always saw it the day early. It always came out that way. It didn't have to be that way. It could be. They didn't see it. But Adar HaSamach LaNisan LaOilam Chas That's just how it always came out even at a time that they're Mekadeh Shalpira'iyah. Memela in Shushan they thought that this month will be like every other Nisan that Adar was Chasar and Mamela, they thought they were either fasting 13, 14, 15, or 14, 15, 16. And they thought, let's say, they're fasting 13, 14, 15. They thought they weren't eating matzah. But they made a mistake. Because back in Yerushalayim, it was the only time in history that Adam came. Adam did not come. And Adar that year was Malay. 
So what they thought was 13, 14, 15 was really 12, 13, 14. Why did Hashem do it that way? Because He didn't want Kali Yisrael to lose out on the mitzvah of matzah. And He didn't want them not to eat on Yom Tif. So even though they thought they were being over, they weren't being over. It was really 12, 13, 14. So listen to this. Kali Yisrael comes the 15th. They think they're being mevatel to say they're, they're not. Because it wasn't the 15th, it was the 14th. The next night, Kali Yisrael ate matzah. They ate on Yom Tif. But there was one guy who was Moisif Yom Echad Midaitai. The Mepharshim on the Megillah say, Vayashav Mordechai. Alright, Mordechai returned to his sackcloth. Right, Vayashav Mordechai Shah Melech. He didn't want to stop removing his sackcloth. So Mordechai, at the end of the three days, Tanesim, he ate matzah. And the next morning, he fasted an extra day. The rest of Kal Yisrael didn't fast on Yom Tif. The rest of Klai Yisrael ate matzah. Mordechai ate matzah. He just the next day added a fast. So there's only Vayav or Mordechai. Mordechai is the only Yid who didn't eat on the first day of Yom Tif. Avada, he ate matzah the night before because the three days were over. What do you mean three days were over? I thought they fasted 13, 14, 15. No. They thought they were fasting 13, 14, 15 12, 13, 12. because Adar HaSobach Lenisan La'ilam Chasa except for that year. That year Adar HaSobach Lenisan was Malay. And then so taka balayla hahu nada doshnas hamelach. We said, well, according to Rashi, it's the seventeenth, and according to the Medrash, it was the sixteenth. But what was it really? The fifteenth, and that's why the Targum says that's the night of Yitzias Mitzrayim. <laughs> they didn't know it was the night of Yitzias Mitzrayim. Now, right again, this only fits in with the Medrash that it was thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So really, it was twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Doesn't fit in the coin to Rashi that it was 14 minutes. Okay? So this is Rabbi Anderson Ibishitz. We, right, we always like to bring Rabbi Anderson Ibishitz into yeah, Purim. So now we're bringing him into Pesach also. Yes? So we really had a functioning Mesdin at that point. Absolutely. Don't you remember? When, um, two weeks ago, when we were learning Chagai, and we asked, the first letters were written on Vayikaru Seferi HaMelech Ba'isahi on the 13th of Nisan. And the second Igeras was not... When did Mordechai retract it? 70 days, later, 70 days later on the 23rd day of Sivan, the Megillah says. Vayikaru Sefer HaMelech, Bachoydesh, Hashlishi, Uchoydesh Sivan, Beshloish of the Esrim Yainbai. And the, why, why, right? why 70 days later? Remember we said, because Mordechai wanted to make sure that it wasn't that it wasn't Adar Risha and that it was Adar Shani, so he had to wait for the Bezdin in Shalim where Chagai was, to proclaim that year in Ibriyar and two Adars. So we see from there that there was a functioning Bezdin in Eretz Yisrael. That, yeah, this is the second time already. Who was the, who was the Tishosa? The first letter, letters were written by Haman. And they were only retracted 70 days later by Mordechai. Right? The king says, write whatever you want. Right on the seventeenth day of Nisan, on Nisan, four days later, King says, "You know what? Haman's dead. You write whatever you want." And he waited seventy days to retract. Why did he wait seventy days? He was waiting for right. Remember, we, all kinds of cheshbonos back to hear. Karish was before Achishvash, right? Yeah. So Karish was the one who said, "Okay, he gave the permission to build." Yeah, but they instigated. Right, so he stopped the building. Yeah. But you see, you're saying to me. It was enough, they already had enough people there to have Bezdin? He uh, says, the Vienna Sinai says the Iker Bezdin was in Yishalim at the time. And he's going to say in this piece also. Should we read it? Yeah. That's what he says, I, I believe. Okay, look at number 14. This is Rav Yonis and Ibishitz, Yaris Devash, Jerosh Tes, Ahmed Kufnan Aleph. He says like this, Ramu Chazal, Inami Vayavar Sha'avar Yom Tav Rishon Shabbat Zal why only Why are we only focusing on the fact that he fasted on Yom the Amar? There is an opinion. The Some say and some say why didn't the Gemara say better? Vloi come into Avraham, vloi acham matzah, below Pesach Harisha, and dechsev ba'erav teichlu matzahs. The heim is sanu gimel yamim v'gimel leilos. By the way, the Marsha 
which I didn't learn with you, it's on the sheet, he learns that when it says that Esther went in on the third day, it doesn't mean she went in on the third day of Tainus. The third day from when the letters were written. Okay? And he, but the Rabbi Yannis and Ibishis learns that's a daichek. Pashib Shach, she went on the third day, the third day of the Tainus. Okay, so says Rabbi Yannis. Says the Rebbe Rabbi Yannis. There are only a few people in history called the Rebbe Reb. Mm-hmm. The Rebbe Rabbi Yannis, the Rebbe Rabbi Shmelka, the Rebbe and the Rebbe Rabbi Heshel. The Rebbe Reb? Heshel. Heshel. Okay. So, he says like this. Okay? Ve'ech yitachein. Ah, look on the, th- on the fourth line in the next paragraph. Ve'ech yitachein, ma'ashikasa b'targum. How is it possible what the Targum says of the Chol Piyutim and all the Midrashim that on that night was Lel Shimurim and a nail, uh, na- uh, lail of Geula and a, a lail of Yeshua? But what do you mean? It was either the night of the 17th or the night of the 16th, not the night of the 15th. Av le'inyin kach kvar kosavti ki oz yashvu bezdin hagado b'yushalayim mamish roiv kinesas hagdoy l'unavim Yeah, you see what the man says? Right? He says the majority of the ancient Knesset Hagdol were in Yerushalayim. Vim heim kav vim kain heim a kavu chadashim v'shanim uvechutz laaretz la yadus man kviyasim. They didn't know. Umetchila arminan dehayachaydesh chaser. At first we would say it was not missing. Ulekach b'shushan what? Was are we saying then that Ezra was there also with the forty-two? In another piece that we read, he said Chagai. And the majority of the Anshik Nesagdel were there. This is apparently something he, uh, he brings up a few times. And they thought they were fasting not to eat matzah because Eislas Hashem. And on the 15th, Esther went in. And at night, Klal Yisrael ate matzah. When they thought, right, they thought the sixth, it was the 16th. They thought the fast was over. Avo me'es Hashem hoya leval yivatlu Yisrael mitzvah matzah. Hashem did not want to be mevatlu for matzah. No, Sam believed Kenzak Dov Yisham la'abaradar. For some odd reason, the Edom didn't come and they didn't and they made Adar Mole. And Rosh Chodesh Yisrael was on 31st day. So it comes out, Esther comes to the king, they fast at 12, 13, 14. Esther comes on the 14, and then they broke the fast that night. They ate matzah karoi. Uvalayla shapasa katanis achlu yisal matzah karoi. Vaaz nadadash nas hamelech. Vahu be'emes lel tesvav. And that was be'emes the night of the 15th. Like karoi lel hamashumar. Ah. Vihine. So now it comes out very beautiful. So, you, so now the question is, if they really fasted, what days? 14, 15, and 16. No, if they really fasted, tw- if they really fasted 12, 13, 14, then, what was Mordechai over? So he quotes the Pshat of the Yifei Anaf, Kulam Kasu, on the Pasuk Vayashem Mordechai Oshar Melech, he returned to his sackcloth and Tainus. Mordechai was a machmir, he fasted a fourth day. Ki Mordechai hechmer lohoisav lanes api yom tezayin, even though the three days were over. So he fast. Now, he thought it was the 16th, really it was the 15th. So he's over. That what? He's fasting on Yom Tov. He fasted on the 15th. He fasted on the 15th. That according to the Kviyas of the Anshin Mordechai was the only one who was violating Yom Tov. But not Klal Yisrael. So nobody violated Matzah and only Mordechai violated Yom Tov. And Mamish came out very good. So now, the MS1 was Haman's yard site? The 15th. And it comes out very good that we talk, don't say Tachnun on the 15th day of Nisan. <laughs> so now we explained. The se- right? So we have a three way machlekes. The 17th day of Nisan Rashi. is the yard site of Haman according to Rashi. Not like Rabbi Yenis and Abish said they changed the calendar. And according to the Medrash Rabbah and the Perkadir of Lezer, it was the 16th, not according to Rabbi Yosef And according to Rabbi Yosef it was the 15th. And Tach on all three days were Machmer, maybe it's Haman's yard site. We don't say Tach not on the 15th, not on the 16th, and not on the 17th. So let me just tell you one more thing, okay? If you thought that was... 
The Arizal says that who is Haman the Gilgal of? The Sar Ha'ofim. <laughs> and remember the Sar Ha'ofim and the Sar Ha'mashkim? Yeah. Right? What did we do to the Sar Ha'ofim? Oh, got hung. Huh? We hanged him. And we hanged hang Haman. How do we know the, the Gilgal? Because the Sar Ha'ofim says, Af Bachaloimi. And Haman also says, Af lohi via Esther, Elamish, Af, they both say Af. So it comes out very good. They were both hanged on Pesach. Why? Oh, what else? Did he get? A baker? He's pro- proliferating chametz. We've got to hang him on the first day of Pesach, right? <laughs> you, can't, you can't have bakers around on Pesach. So both the, both the baker and Haman, they both, we both get rid of them on Pesach. We can't have too much chametz around. Yeah? And Taka, the, the, the Bnei Yisoscha writes in the Agra de Kala, that's why is there a minute to give out baked goods on Purim? Zeche to the Sar Ha'ofim. <laughs> right? But Lamai, so when Pesach comes around, you got to get rid of that Sar Ha'ofim. You know, you can't have any chametz around. Okay. Rav Oisai, Afrei Lechem Shisham Purim. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.